Hi guys, welcome to my review of the first two episodes of season two of Selling Sunset. These reviews aren't going to be a play-by-play -play of each episode, it's just going to be my thoughts on it. The reason that I'm doing the first two episodes before everything else is because episode two, and yes, there will be spoilers in this, episode two ended with Davina attempting to talk to a client about how his property was listed too high. I'm just going to talk about Davina for a second. Like, okay, look, I understand that these are all real women, okay? I'm not trying to be terrible here, but they're on a reality show. They're sort of asking for us to judge them. And here's the thing. I don't like aspects of Davina's personality because she reminds me of bad aspects of my personality. It's just really hard to see someone else do what you're doing and then you're just like, wow, that is really not okay. Like, I need to be better at that because, yeah, it sucks. It's like she can't just say to a client, hey, I've decided that your listing is too high. She has to drag in her boss and be like, I'm so glad for the opportunity. Please don't, you know, go with another agent. And obviously I'm not selling million dollar houses in LA, but I just feel that I can be like that sometimes. Just not able to say what I need to say. And seeing this in someone else is so <laughs> frustrating. And I think that because I, I can be the same way, I, I don't really want to call her fake, but she does agree with other people a lot just to be liked, and I can do that too, and it's so uncomfortable to watch. There's a moment where she and Heather are looking at a house because Davina wants to get Heather's opinion on what the price should be, and Heather says, well, I was thinking like, 70 million and Davina's like oh I was thinking that too like of course you were if she had said a hundred million you would have said I was thinking that if she had said 200 million you would have said you were thinking that if she had said a dollar you would have said that you were thinking that too because that's what you do and then Heather says something about how billionaires have compounds and millionaires have views and Davina's like, oh, I agree. It's like, yes, because you agree with everything. And you're such a... So Davina just has all these qualities that I don't appreciate because I know that I've been the same way. And it's not fun to see that reflected in another person. Apparently Davina's issues aren't just something that I'm seeing. Mary is talking to Amanda about how her fiancé doesn't want Davina at the wedding because Davina was really excessively critical about how her fiance proposed when he didn't have a ring. So Mary's like, yeah, no, I agree, but my fiance has to be the one to disinvite her. And this combined with the fact that Davina was having such a hard time meeting with this client is why I decided to review the first two because I think it's enough to talk about. Also, I won't say this spoiler because there's a chance that you actually haven't seen it, and this is really going to be a big surprise to you and I don't want to ruin it. But Chriselle is going to have something happen and it is probably going to take up a lot of episodes. So I didn't want the video to be completely about that. Another issue that happened is that Heather and Amanda have kind of become the new Christina and Chriselle. Like I can see how it's going because Heather is dating a guy who has kids and she says that she's going to text the guy's ex because she has his number which makes sense to me my parents are divorced like everyone's on very good terms people have each other's phone numbers and this has been true for a long time but everyone's like oh my gosh you have your you have your fiance's ex's number and it's like yeah that that makes sense and Amanda's like yeah well I'm a single mom and I feel more comfortable also knowing who my ex-husband is dating. It's like, okay, that's fair. But then she says that she hopes that it does work out because she, it can be very hard on the kids 
when it doesn't. My feelings about this are, on the one hand, you probably shouldn't say that to Heather because she's a bit, I'll say, irrational about her relationship. She's admitted to that. But on the other hand, it is true. It seems like it would be very hard to, you know, know someone, think of them as someone who's very important to your mom or your dad, get to know them, and then all of a sudden they're just gone. So I can see where Manza is coming from. Yeah, so now they're fighting, and I know this is going to be a massive thing. I can, like, envision whatever pool party they're going to argue at, because every time anyone has an argument, it has to be at a pool party. It just has to be at a pool party. Unless it's like at a restaurant, but in that case it's more passive-aggressive because I think they are aware that they're sort of in public, although I imagine part of it is booked out. The other thing I notice about this is that everyone seems to be talking in a way that makes me think they know that whatever they say is going to be on Twitter. They're a lot nicer than they were last season, and I do think that's a good thing. And quite honestly, aside from Davina, no one else seems fake. Even Christina, like, she's mean, but she at least seems like she's real. Davina is the only one who, it's like, well, she's hearing people talk, she's thinking about how to best agree with them, and again, oh my gosh, something I do, and I need to stop, because it clearly, it's not an attractive look. It's not an okay thing to do. Like, wow. Ugh. Like... It's just not okay. It's just not okay what she does. The other thing I want to talk about is Heather and Jason, who have so much chemistry, and I'm like, are they? I, I get that it's real life, so it can't go this way, but Jason clearly really likes Heather, like clearly, and is so jealous of her boyfriend. It's like, you know, I get that you're her boss, so this probably isn't good, but you need to at least be honest about how you feel because it is so obvious. It is so incredibly obvious. So at least stop, stop lying because he's always like, when you're in a relationship, you're not as fun. When you're in a relationship, you're not focused on work. Like, I really like that part of the show. I'm just like, what is going to happen? Because I think it's very, it's very clear to me that Heather is not secure in her relationship she feels that she needs to be so defensive about anyone who says anything like if you break up it'll be hard for the kids like that's not a controversial thing to say it would be tough on the kids yeah that is how rational people talk about it heather not so much being a rational person in this case again i know they're real people i don't want to say anything too harsh this is just how the show portrays them so at the end of episode two we have Davina meeting with a client in the worst way possible. Basically, watch how she handles this meeting and do the exact opposite if you're ever trying to sell anything. I mean, I know almost nothing about selling real estate, aside from the fact that sometimes you use hot air balloons. But it just wasn't good. And then, of course, we go to the office and Heather and Amanda are having this fight about how... Heather shouldn't be so close to the kids if she's not sure about the relationship, which is actually true. So I feel like things are really going to start to amp up in the rest of the season. And I'm actually really excited because I just, I love the show so much. It's just, it's so weird. It's just such an interesting mesh of women being catty as they are on most reality shows, but also actually doing actual real estate. And I do want to talk about Maya. I love the fact that she's on the show. She seems really nice. I kind of saw her and thought, I don't understand how she could ever be involved in any sort of drama, but maybe she will be. I don't know. She seems pretty rational and level-headed. So we'll see. I'm just really, I love the show. I love Selling Sunset. It's awesome. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my review of the first two episodes of season two of Selling Sunset. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're healthy and I'll see you again soon.